Tinubu removed petroleum subsidies that did not even exist in Nigeria in the first place. Adeolu says, hmm, this is a barrister now that is trying to expose something here. So subsidy did not exist in, before. So what then is Tinubu removing? And why is he calling it subsidy if it never existed? So let's delve into the detail of what barrister Adeolu has to say. <laughs> now wow. Uh, a lawyer, author, and public affairs analyst, Adebayo Adolu, has alleged that the president of Nigeria, Asiwaju Bola Metinubu, removed petroleum subsidies that did not even exist in Nigeria in the first place. So, according to the report from Sun newspaper, Adebayo Adolu said this while reacting to the question asked about what are his thoughts on the performance of the president of Nigeria. Ashwaju Bola Metinubu nearing 100 days in office. He said President Tinubu has, in his first 100 days, stirred the hornet's nest, removed petroleum subsidies that didn't even exist in Nigeria in the first place. Suffice it to say that previous government had created a basket economy that was unfavorable to Nigerians, to Nigeria, the government, and the people of Nigeria. So the absence of functional refineries in the country makes payment of subsidies a draw pipe on the economy and along with that there is a huge theft of crude oil and petroleum products which results in a huge revenue shortage for nigeria whose economy is dependent on crude oil sales alone okay so what he's saying now is that uh, first subsidy never existed in nigeria before and what Tinubu removed is just a scam. That is what it implies then. He said previous government created a basket, a basket economy. Okay. And they used first subsidy as a way of draw pipe, of pulling or sucking the nation's resources, both money and, uh, and, uh, and oil. Now the basket economy they created was just a big leakage, that's right? economic leakage. So that is what it means because you cannot use a basket to fetch water. So it means that there were a lot of economic leakages, and one of it was this first subsidy, which they were using to steal both petroleum product and the revenue sales derived from petroleum uh, crude oil. Hmm. Oh, wow. So can this be further substantiated? So what? Uh, so why then are they calling it subsidy? Okay, because we know that Niger refineries never worked and. Um, the importation of petroleum product was expensive and they tried to support those who were importing it so that they can sell it at a price that Nigerians can afford. And that is what they call the subsidy. Or well, now that they have removed it, have, the question is have they stopped paying? Is NNPC able to land the, you know, uh, show that the landing cost of the product from abroad to Nigeria? Yeah. So that is, those are the big questions that we're talking about now. So I will say that I've stopped paying such money. And if I stop paying such money, it means that money, monies have been saved. Where are those monies that have been saved? And where are they right now? Where are they spending them all? Another problem I have is that you remove first subsidy and then you created palliative to cushion the effect of the subsidy remover. One, whether it's the first subsidy or it is a palliative for first subsidy remover, they are all subsidies. So it's a matter of removing the subsidy from one function to another to give it a different name, but for the same purpose. Because what is subsidy? Reducing the cost of uh, uh, um, affordability of a petroleum product. Okay. On the other hand, what is palliative? Now, petroleum product is, is though supposedly expensive, so you find that way to cushion the effect so Nigerians will not feel the pain. It's the same thing. Subsidy is subsidy. Whether you are paying directly on the product or you are giving it as a palliative uh, to the people in a different way, okay. So the question is, the the even the subsidy they said they want to give, where are those subsidies? Because they have not paid anything. Have you? The federal government said they were going to give fifty billion naira or five billion, five billion naira to each state to use to share palliatives. Only. Uh, um, 
Lagos State went to do Ijebugari and packaged it in small, small satchels and distributed. And they called it palliative. And foolish Lagosians accepted it. And then now palliative is over. Then uh, Anambra State agreed that they got two billion out of the five billion. Okay. So now what is happening to the other three billion? Does it mean that federal government is coming the state government or not? We don't know. But now, even if you got the two billion, have you destroyed the policy? What extent did you go? Is it sustainable? Mm -mm, nobody said anything. So, Koto government said they have spent 5.1 billion now, and uh, Kashim Shetima, the vice president, is uh, applauding them, praising them, and uh, you know, hailing them for that. Okay, so are you telling me now that 5.1 billion have been spent on policy, and how many? uh Sokoto indigenous have gotten that palliative and how how is it sustainable are you going to what will be the frequency are you going to be doing that every month or every two months or three months or every six months or once a year we don't know yet so that is to tell you that our government just provides solutions solutions that will never really help okay because that polit palliative is not a way out of this uh, situation that we are in and with all of these i tell you more than more i'm sure more than 75 percent or if not 80 percent of nigeria have not seen the effect of that palliative at all in any way so what is what is going to happen now okay what is going to happen to the rest of people so and that is why this man is saying that this adebaya delu that tirumbu just removed subsidy that was never even in place before the question is what was in place okay this statement can be investigated further so everyone is now in an economist and can say whatever he likes about our economy if there was no subsidy how come our neighboring countries smuggled petroleum products from nigeria hmm so i say abio lawyer is even talking about economy one that shall never end can you imagine don't mind him if there was no subsidy why did the price of fuel jump to 617 per liter 617 naira per liter after removal of the subsidy only god will deliver nigeria from lies and deceptions have it's just terrible i have always said there is nothing like petroleum subsidy the inept government okay we have we have the inept government will have been okay. The inept government we've been having were using petroleum subsidy as a cover up for their gross incompetence. The non existent subsidy has been removed and we are now worse off economically and otherwise. That simply tells you petroleum subsidy was never in existence in Nigeria. Politicians simply played Nigerians using the term to cover up their gross incompetence. Hmm. Somebody said, when your Biafra, can you imagine? He's changing now to Biafra. When your Biafra president is campaigning, he said he will remove petrol subsidy. So if there's no, why say so? Common sense is not common. Common sense is not common, Abi. It's high time you call us yourself, Tifunubu. <laughs> Please tell them. It was we Yorubas who masterminded the strike against PDP and Jonathan. Yes. In 2012, stating that there is nothing like subsidy in fuel and that and that it was a scam. Now our own has done some same and we kept quiet. Is it not hypocrisy? Tell them. Tell them very well. This is absolute hypocrisy. This is absolute hypocrisy. And that is true. Eh? Your type of Yoruba is dumb. Can you imagine? What you witnessed but could not recognize was politics at its finest. Did the party not boot out the PDP? Yoruba wisdom is far from you, bro. Eh? You need to get closer to your parents. They are, they are a repository of the Yoruba wisdom. Have a good day. Can you imagine? The guy has said the truth. Someone say, God bless you and your family for saying the truth. I have been asking all these haters of Igbos, okay? And um, of Igbos, 
and they threw this same question. The, the, I mean, uh, the likes of one Shogun Balogun on this opera app, if that man sees the opportunity to burn down the entire Southeast, he will do it. But God Almighty will surely pay that Shogun Balogun in his own coin. Can you imagine? He has been a drug baron, and you know drug barons spend money lavishly. <laughs> Nigeria. Thank you for listening. Let's have a comment. This man has mentioned now that there was no subsidy in place. Adebayo, Adeolu, a barrister. So, so thank you for listening. Let's have a comment.